right, so where we're at right now, we've created a new division through this finger, uh, and I actually want to come in and take the vertices that I've established through this and see if I can actually raise them up along the center line. I'm holding down shift, and I'm going to use this to allow me to slightly pick these up just to round that section out a little bit. And again, if they're off a line, I can realign these manually. Let's do the same thing along the bottom. Uh, we just want to make sure that we're getting all that we can from our form. And uh, if we're adding in extra divisions, we want to make sure we're using them. So a couple more. There we go. And now we're going to have a much more rounded form for this. And we'll even take this last little edge on the top and we're going to push this forward. This is going to be useful for creating our fingernail in just a few minutes. Well, our last little steps here with this, we need to figure out what to do with this five-sided face. And actually, we need to figure out maybe how to create a fingernail. So this can actually be a really easy area to work with. Uh, one of the things that I like to do here is to take the two remaining faces to select them. We've got a little shield shape along the top. I like to select them and hit extrude. And again, I'll grab the scale tool and kind of scale this together and push it forward. You can already see that I've got sort of a fingernail division area starting to happen. But if we widen these out, move these back vertices around a little bit, we can then reselect these front two faces hit extrude and move these up and forward ever so slightly so that we start to get an overhang. And if I redirect what's happening on the back side by pulling these in and take the front side and wind them out, I get a nice little simple fingernail. Now my finger is still looking very hard edged compared to the rest of the model. So I'm going to come in to Normals, Soften Edge, to soften that form out. And in the channel box, you can see I've added quite a bit to my history for this. So let's also go in, edit, delete all by type, history. Now would also be a very good time to save our scene as a new version. So I had Hando 1 a second ago. Let's save this as Hando 2. Well, I just made one, I think, pretty good finger. Why would I want to come in and um, have to do this all over again several more times? The easiest thing to do with a hand like this is just to duplicate the finger that you already have. To do this, I want to select the whole hand in object mode and hit Control D to duplicate it. And just move it off to the side. Now essentially I have two hands, each with one finger. What I want to do though is actually select the faces for the finger. I'll right click on the model, go into the face component mode, and drag a selection over all of the faces in the finger. But you'll actually notice I didn't include the selections, that last little joiner before the hand. We're going to add that in in just a few minutes as well. Once I have the finger selected, I want to invert my selection so that I only have the hand and everything else here selected so that I can delete that section. I just feel it's easier to select the finger because of how it sticks out and how it can be selected than to try and come in and select the whole hand. So I've zoomed out a little bit. I'm going to hold down shift and drag the selection over the whole model. And this will select everything else and deselect anything that's already been selected. effectively inverting my selection. So I'll do that one more time. Once I have my finger selected, I'll hold down shift and just drag out a selection box over the whole hand. And when I let go, that'll be just my hand. I will hit backspace or delete to remove that off. And now I've got just a finger. I'll go into the vertex component mode and let me actually scale some of this flat. 
You see, now I have a finger. I probably want to delete my history for this. And you'll also notice that my pivot point is way outside the finger. So let's go to Modify and choose Center Pivot, which will put that pivot point right in the center. When changing the scale of these fingers, I'll probably actually want them to scale up from the bottom. So with the Move or Scale or Rotate tool selected, and the finger is what I have chosen, I'm going to hit Insert on my keyboard. Or if you're using a Macintosh computer, you can hit Home. I'm going to move this pivot point back right around the edge of the finger and hit Insert again. And now I've manually repositioned that insert point. I want to take my finger and I'm going to move it into place right in front of each one of these junctions. If you're having a hard time seeing it, you can always go into shading and turn on wireframe on shaded. Since my middle finger is going to be the longest, well, I'm going to scale this one up a little bit. I will hit Control D to duplicate my middle finger. Hit R to scale it down just a little bit. Again, we want it to be bigger than our pointer finger. And I'll grab the Rotate tool and push it off to the side just a little bit. Again, notice how I'm leaving a gap between each one of these fingers. I'll hit Control D again. And again, scale this down a little bit more since my pink, pointy, uh, pinky finger is going to be the smallest. And I'll move this finger back closer to the edge of the hand and rotate it. I also like spreading these fingers out. It makes it easier to rig later on. So we might as well actually take our first finger and rotate this one. Once I've grabbed a selection of faces, I'll just hit shift period to grow my selection. And then I can rotate it and move it a little bit more into place to spread out those fingers. Let's take one last finger before we do anything else and duplicate it. And I'm just going to move this up and out of the way for right now. I'll just keep it all the way up here. That's going to be our thumb later on. But I want to get the rest of this hand built first. What I want to do next is I want to come in and combine the hand with these three other fingers. Before I actually merge these up or attach them together, I have to be able to combine the objects first. So I'm going to select all four of these objects and go to Mesh and choose Combine. And then immediately I'm going to go to Edit choose Delete All by Type, and Delete My History. Now I'm going to start the first finger, and we're going to take a look at how to join this up in the next video. But one thing I want you to see is that if I'm trying to attach these connections, it's going to be very hard to do this looking from outside of the hand. So I recommend actually going inside of the hand where we don't have to continuously move the camera. So that's something we're going to look at seeing in our next video. Hold on, and we're going to start video number four.